Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? I better help Chloe with her cleaning. Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE, though. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. I 
bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I... I hate fake people. You're... real. Thanks. That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Chloe's been beating me for a while. That growth spurt could come any day now. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Whoa, talk about embarrassing. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards.
Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right, back to the junk mines. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gallery. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. The possibilities are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever! This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> Such <laughs> You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure, 
treasure you seek. Seek mine eyes, spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. <laughs> Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And, uh, why? <laughs> Dude, that was... Hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. We still are. Okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? All right, time to find this map. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Chloe's so determined to find the map. I love how when she puts her mind to something, she just doesn't give up. Any luck? <sighs> nope. You? Nothing yet. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Bingo. Are 
I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Chloe seems so into this. If this has to be my last day here, I might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I don't think I could ever handle a real-life murder investigation. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Chloe's parents are so cute. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Hmm. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings.
Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. Low strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? Awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. The entrance to the dark cavern is in there. Bluebeard's chosen hiding place for the mysterious amulet. Just need a few more inches. If I stack a bunch of books on the stool, I could probably reach the attic. I think that should be tall enough. Should be stable enough. <laughs> Besides, what's adventure without a little risk? There's a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. The amulet looks kind of cool from the side. took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. No sharpie boob jobs. Hm. Disappointing. Her parents couldn't part with this. 
I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. I can't get through with this chair here. I think I can squeeze through now. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Keep it moving, desk. <laughs> Crap. I need to move that desk, but distressor is in the way. One step closer. Hard to imagine Chloe's dad in college. I wonder what he was like. Maybe there's still some things in there. I guess Chloe's dad went through a hippie phase. Hard to imagine Chloe's dad in college. I wonder what he was like. That's so cool. I wonder how many different moments this thing is captured. Chloe and I had the best Halloween costumes. I bet there's some good stuff still in there. Long Max Silver's eye patch. This will be perfect. I never realized how much I liked vintage things. This cooler is awesome. Glad this thing is empty. Why 
Finally. A fitting reward for a journey full of treasures. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And spiders. Ha <laughs> ha! I have you now, Skellywag. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Watching me up there, Creeper? You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. The dark cavern was no match for you, eh? Long Max Silver to the rescue. Treasure's sure to be ours, Captain. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. I wish this was big enough to jump in. It's only September. It'll be totally dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. I'm really gonna miss Price family barbecues. All I'm saying is, I've never broken my wrist taking a picture. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. One time, we stuck a bunch of this tape to Chloe's face to make a blue beard. Putting it on was a lot more fun than taking it off. This was a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. It's so weird we're at different schools now. I've spent so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. These games we're playing. 
buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this why I keep pushing off telling Chloe I'm leaving? Because I don't want to ruin this time together. How am I going What's up, to... dude? Bro. Don't you mean, sis? Maybe I meant nerd. Dork. Punk. Punks are cool. You know what, Max Caulfield? What, Chloe Price? You're the freaking best. That's all. Talk about mushy. Where'd that come from? I was just thinking about how awesome this day is. And how awesome we are. Okay, enough of this shit. There's treasure to be unburying. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. Are you ever gonna get your kite down from the roof? It was unhappy in captivity. I set it free. You must be a hero to kites everywhere. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. I wish I could freeze this moment and never have to leave it. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Walk the plank. Perfect. why it's called a Jolly Roger. How jolly can you be if you're dead? This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Actually, after this morning, I can. Glider swings. The best way to simulate a storm on the high seas. Ah, my greatest work of art. I call it how I lost my magnifying glass privileges. Great art is never appreciated. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's rum for me. Did you drink this? Yar. No, not really. I had to fish an empty bottle from the recycling bin. That's probably for the best. Some pirate you are. Wait just a minute. Yar. You must ask permission before setting foot, er, peg, on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Granted. One amulet, coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes... <sighs> Damn it. I forget how to make this... Stay on. 
Stay here. I think I saw some tape. <sighs> Thanks, Max. Just some tape left between us and the treasure. If you told me this morning that we'd be spending the day as pirates, I would have thought you were crazy. Yeah, I probably look like a loser, huh? Yeah, totally. But we're losers together. <laughs> See? If you're a loser, Max, I don't think I want to be cool. It's just... This whole day has made me feel like a little kid again. I can't believe we were eight and nine when we planned this. I can. This tiny kid's head is squeezing the shit out of my head. <laughs> well, treasures don't find themselves. Lead the way. Score. One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were gonna be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something. Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step right. No, no, the other right. My other right or your other right? <sighs> My other right. Got it. Wait, what? Just go. That way! Oh, perfect! Now come towards me! Bingo! That is not what we buried. <laughs> <laughs>